All right, so today I'm going to solve a fairly common question that involves two principles as opposed to one, right? And we'll discuss what those principles are momentarily. Here's what the question says. I have some water flowing over here, and then I have a converging channel, and then this exits as free jet to the atmosphere, right? And I noted over here, which th what that means is the pressure over here as this is open the atmosphere will be zero if I use the gauge terminology and you're recommended to use the gauge terminology, okay? So my P2 is also given by using words as opposed to mathematical symbols. And in this case, it's asking you what is the P. So now, this is, like I mentioned, this is a very common question. I can move things around, I can give a pressure value in here, I can ask you this, or I can give you this value, I can ask you that. Uh, and I can, you can see here that my V2 is missing, right? and the rest is known, so I can just uh, basically go ahead and not give you one of them. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do in here is um, whenever I see the word pressure being asked to me, my mind automatically goes to using the Bernoulli's equation, okay? And I'm going to start with that. So P1 over rho plus V1 squared over 2 plus GZ1 will be equal to P2 over rho plus V2 squared over 2 plus gz2 right so and i typically at this point what i do is i look at what i know what i don't know right and cancel the terms that is necessary now let's start from the second or the exit area and i have this gone why because i'm using gauge terminology it's right over here right another thing is what is v2 that is uh, actually missing right how about gz2 so what I'm going to say is these, as this elevation is fairly constant, right? I'm not changing the elevation much. I will go ahead and kind of neglect those two, right? So if I rewrite this equation, now P1 is the, the, what I'm asked to find, right? So P1 will be in here, V2 squared minus V1 squared over 2 times the density, right? And again, let's take a look what I know, what I don't know. And you do see here is right now the V2 is missing. V1 is known. Right? Density is known from the reference manual, if you reference manual, thousand. So the only thing that is standing between me and the answer is the V2. So let's go ahead and find that. In order to find V2, I recommend that you wish you watch the previous uh, practice problem. It will be very similar to that, but actually it will be easier this time around. The reason is that this is water and there's only one in that one exit. So then my formula from the reference manual will be this. This is given in the reference manual. Anyone reference manual gives you that this V1A1 is equal to V2A2. Okay, then let's uh, plug numbers in because I know V2 is not known, but the rest should be known. So my V1 is 0 0.1. So this is 0 0.1 meter per second. My area is pi over 4. D is 0 0.3 square, right? Obviously, this is going to be meter square will be equal to, let's look at V2, which is unknown, and A2 is, will be pi over 4, 0 0.1 squared. And obviously, this is meter squared. This will cancel. So pi over 4 will cancel each other. And you can see here, this, this is going to be like 9, right? This is going to be like 9. This is going to be like 1, right? So from here, I'm going to get my V2 as 0 0.9 meter per second. Good. So I accomplished something, I'm happy. Once I accomplish this, I'll go back and insert it here. Let's write it in here. P1 will be equal to V2 square, which is 0 0.9 square minus 0 0.1 square divided by 2 times 1000, which is the density, right? And if I do this 0 0.1, 0 0.9, 0 0.81 minus 0 0.01, so this is going to be 0 0.8 divided by 2, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 times 1000, Will be right there. It's going to be 400 pascals in gauge, obviously. Okay, um, right here. Note that if the question asks you what is in what is this pressure in absolute terms, then you need to add 101.325 to it. So it's going to be right around 102 kilopascal will be the answer if this question is testing you on the absolute value. Right? Thank you for watching this video.